Like variables are used to hold values of one data type, arrays are used to hold multiple values of one data type. So in this tutorial, we'll talk about array functions. So first of all, I'll give you a quick walkthrough of how to create an array in VBA. So first of all, let's declare it. I'm declaring it as a variant. You may declare it as integer or string uh, if you know the data type. To put values in an array, I can do like I need to use array function and I can simply pass on the values. So for example, if I need to create a string array, I can pass on values like this. So now this array A contains three values A, B and C. Do not con get confused with the name A and this value A. This is a value. This is the name of the array. To avoid the confusion, I rename it as A double R. So the array A double R, or I can call it as R, it contains three values A, B and C. If you want to increase the number of elements or the number of values in the array, you can simply add on like this. Now this value, uh, this array is holding five values, A, B, C, D, and E. And if you want to access any of these values, you can simply use, so this way you can access uh, the first value using index zero. And if you want to access first value or the second value, you can use one. And if you want to access the last element, which is the fifth element in this particular array, so you need to specify index four because it is starting from zero. So since the index for this value is 0 and the index for this value is 4 because it is having 5 values, uh, we have few functions here in array functions. So the first one is uBound which will give you the upper bound or the index of the last element in the array. Similarly, we have a function lBound which returns the index of the first value of the array. So if I use message box of upper bound of this array, it will return me the element or the index of the last element or the last value which is 4 and if I print lower bound it would be 0 and if you want to know the size of the array so f it is very simple now it is u bound of array minus lower bound div uh, and you need to add 1 to it so since this is 4 minus 0 gives you 4 and the size is actually 5 so I'm adding 1 to it. So the size of array is 5. Now if I increase the, I, I, I add one more element in this array. So the size should be 6 now. So it is 6. So these were the first two functions, upper bound. Uh, you need to specify the array name here and the dimension since we have yet uh, talked about only two uh, one dimension array so you this is optional and if you even put one here you will get the same result but if it is a two dimensional or three dimensional array uh, we need to um, put the dimension here we'll talk about it later for the for instance uh, we will be talking about only uh, 1d arrays so this is u bound function and then we uh, uh, also discussed about L bound function. It is also having the same syntax. The next important function is split function. Let's say you have a string hello world welcome to extreme excel tutorials Now you can see here this is a string which is having multiple words which are separated by a space. Now I want to split down this entire string into different words. So for that we have a function named as split. The expression is the string. Delimiter is the character or set of characters by which you want to split down your string or the expression. I want to split it down on the basis of a space. 
the rest of the arguments are optional uh, the, uh, limit is minus 1 and you can use VB text compare method here so if you specify minus 1 or even if you leave it blank it will split down entire string and the output would be either saved in a variable or, or this is not actually a variable this would be an array because it is getting uh, it is splitting down the entire string and having multiple values uh, so those multiple values get stored in one single variable which we call it as array so b would be an array i'll show you how it lo uh, look like so let us see when we run it now i'm running it in a debug mode so a was a string b which was split down i will go here i'll select it right click and add to watch to see what actually b is now you see uh, a is simply a string there is no plus sign in uh, in front of it but b is having a plus sign in front of it and it is saying that it is a variant and holding string data types and the index says uh, starting from 0 and ending up to 6 that means there are 7 uh, values in it and uh, if you see we have 7 words here in the string and if I click on the plus you will see the values so at index 0 we have hello at index 1 we have world and so on and so forth at last index we have tutorials and you can uh, you, you will see there is no space in between now because it has actually split down the entire string on the basis of that delimiter now suppose uh, you want to split down this string only uh, in few parts let's say hello as first part and rest of the part as second so for that we have a third variable uh, which is limit let's say you put 2 as limit here right I'll take it back here now I redefine a as hello world now I run b as uh, this split function and uh, limit is 2 now we expand to uh, this here uh, so we'll see that hello is here at 0th index and the first index is holding the entire string because we have li uh, limited it to two uh, uh, sets so similarly you can uh, put uh, up to n uh, but uh, do not exceed uh, with the number of actual values otherwise it will give you error so to, to uh, split down the entire you can either sp uh, skip it or you can put minus one here the next function is a join function now suppose you have split down your string as split a on the basis of space now b is that uh, string which has been split down b, b is actually an array now you want to join this array uh, on the basis of a delimiter so we'll say c equals join the source array b with a new delimiter two underscores let's say right so let's see what is c now we can see check c here also or we can display in a message box also so b is hello world welcome to extreme excel tutorials and you see that there are no spaces in between but now we have uh, underscores because we used that as delimiter while joining them so these are four array functions that we use uh, in the next tutorial we'll talk about file and directory functions stay connected